Welcome back to Kids Planning. I'm Peyton and this is Jared. And today we're going to teach you how to play Kids Chronicles Quest for the Moonstone from Lucky.Kids who helped sponsor this video. In Kids Chronicles, players are working together to explore, find clues, and solve mysteries. We'll avoid as many spoilers as we can in this video and we're only using examples from the tutorial story. You will need the free Kids Chronicles app to play the game and we'll leave links to the app in the description. Once it's installed and the stories are downloaded, you do not need internet connection to play the game. To set up the game, put the board in the middle of the table and put the item and character cards next to the board where everyone can reach them. You can look through these cards as much as you want, but just don't scan the QR code until you reveal them in the story. Now open the Kids Chronicles app, pick the story you want to play in, and you're ready to start. The game is played over a series of stories where you'll be exploring the board and using the app to scan cards, items, and locations to gather information to solve the mystery. Each story starts with an introduction that will tell you which side of the board to use, where to start on the board, and what you're trying to do. Once you're finished reading this, click next and you'll be taken to the 3D scene of your starting location where you'll look around and investigate. This is something you do a lot in the game. Anytime the app takes you into a scene, pick one person to investigate. They'll have 20 seconds to look around by either swiping or moving the device. And while they're looking around, they're going to describe what they see to the other players, who will be looking through the character and item cards to find what's being described. So in this scene, we see an old man with a blue robe and a staff with a blue crystal on the top of it. If you run out of time, you can press the look again button to take another look. So we found these cards matching what was in the scene. So we'll put the item card in one of the spots at the bottom of the board, and we'll put the character card in the location that we were exploring, which was Merlin's Tower. So now we have an item and a character we can interact with. There's a few things you can do. You can use items, and you can talk with characters, and you can ask characters about other people, items, and places. To talk to a person, you need to scan their card. The app will keep up with where you are and who you're talking to. So we're in Merlin's tower, and now we're speaking to Merlin. While we're talking, he mentions the moon cat. Anytime a new character or item is mentioned, find that card and put it in one of the question mark spaces. You can't interact with these cards yet, but you can ask other characters about those cards. To ask someone about another character or item, make sure you're speaking to them, then scan the character, place, or item you want to talk about. So we'll ask Merlin about this staff we found. He tells us it's his old magician staff, and he says we can take it with us. Next, we can ask him about the moon cat. He tells us that strange paw prints were near the swamp. Once you're finished talking to someone, hit goodbye. Remember, if you want to ask a character about something, you have to scan that character first so it says you're talking to them. Then scan the thing you want to ask them about. Now let's talk about moving. You can move to a new location by scanning its QR code on the board, but you can only move to locations that are directly connected to your current location by a road. So if we were in the castle, we could move to the volcano, the forest, and Merlin's tower, but you can't move directly from the castle to the swamp because there's not a direct road to it. To visit a new location, scan the QR code and you'll be taken into the location to explore. So since we're here, we'll travel to the swamp to explore. Just like in the tower, pick one person to look around and describe everything they're seeing, and all of the other players will find any matching cards in the character and item decks. So when we go to the swamp, we see someone standing in the water and a ball of yarn, so we add those to the board. Now you can scan this character to talk to them and ask them about other things on the board. Sometimes you need to use items that you found. When we talk to this character, they say that they're stuck in the swamp and need help getting out. So maybe we can throw this ball of yarn at them and pull them out? We'll try that by scanning the yarn while we're talking to them. That didn't help, which isn't surprising because it's a ball of yarn, but that's how you would use an item while you're interacting with the character. You might also see an action button pop up in the app, like if you see a climb button, you could tap it and then scan an item to try to climb with, like a ladder. But remember, you can only use items that you've discovered and put in one of these spots at the bottom of the board. If you try to scan a card that you haven't discovered yet, it won't let you use it. And if you ever need to look at part of the story you've already seen, you can click on the diary at the bottom of the app screen. And that's everything you need to know to get started. Remember, investigate everything and talk to everyone as you explore. Ask characters about other characters you've met and items you've seen, and be sure to ask about anything in the unlocated area of the board too. It's up to you to find as many clues as you can to solve the mystery and have a great adventure. And that's Kids Chronicles Quest for the Moonstone. Thank you so much for watching. And be sure to like and subscribe and watch some of our other videos too. See you later. Bye. Bye.